Well, hey there, everybody. My name is Corey Motherfuck Ass Links, and we're here to talk about the Cherokee County Sheriff's Department and how ignorant all those motherfuckers up there are. Now, I got a story for you. It's something that happened to one of my friends that he told me about. Okay, so my friend had this roommate, and they lived somewhere up around Canton, Georgia, and um, they had an apartment together. So, the girlfriend was in a relationship with a sort of abusive boyfriend. Now, to me, she was, you know, it's, it was one of those situations where the girl is getting kind of verbally and uh, emotionally abused by a man, but she goes back to him voluntarily. If it was me, I know this sounds bad, but I'd just say, you know, let them. They'll learn. There's no, what can you do? But anyways, it wasn't really too bad. It wasn't like a situation where he was beating her, holding her captive or anything. She voluntarily went back to the motherfucker. So, my friend... <laughs> He's one of those, he's a good friend. He's very protective, though, and he knows when somebody's in a bad situation, he wants to be a good friend and say, hey, girl, you got to get rid of the motherfucker. So anyways, motherfucker, the boyfriend, the abusive inbred son of a bitch, comes up in the house and starts saying some stupid shit to her, and he was just like, you know what, dude? You need to leave. And he starts calling him faggot this and faggot that, like most inbred rednecks tend to do. That's their first line of defense against us, is queer, faggot, and all kinds of derogatory slurs. Like, they think that's gonna immediately make us freeze in terror when you say the word faggot. Faggot! Faggot! Her, it's a queer, let's call him a faggot, and that'll shut him up. That'll solve all the problems in the world. Faggot! That's how they act. But anyways, um, so the police get called, and what do the police do? The police arrest my friend, and we're gonna call him Jay-Z for short, because he don't want nobody knowing his name, because there's some secrets out there. Um, so Jay-Z gets, he's the one that gets arrested because the cops in Cherokee County and Canton are fucking stupid. They're all retarded. And that's no offense to retarded people out there. I mean, y'all are all equal, but still, that's, that's just how they are. That's the word I'm using for now. So, der -der -der, the police department takes him down to the Cherokee County Detention Center and they start accusing him of hitting women. Now how fucked up is that? He is the one who was victimized and attacked by a homophobic moron. It was a hate crime that happened against him in his own damn apartment and Cherokee County Sheriff's Department gonna get up in his face in the jail and say, you like hitting women? Huh? Like hitting women, boy? Like hitting women? I'm the sheriff. You will be intimidated by me and my aviator sunglasses and I'm chewing my dip because I'm from Cherokee County. Do you like hitting women, boy? Boy. I don't really think you did that whole lick lipping thing, but I just added it for the fuck of it because I'm fucking insane. But anyways, so they have him in there yelling at him saying, you like hitting women, because in their stupid ass retarded inbred minds, they think that he's the one who hit her. Is this thing on? Okay. They think that he, they think that the roommate is his girlfriend and that he's an abusive boyfriend, even though he's the gay best friend to this girl and they're living together and helping each other out with their rent. That's how fucking stupid they are up in Cherokee County. Durr! I swear, if they did an IQ test, for cops before they go out on the job and graduate from the academy in the state of Georgia or any other southern state, our police force would be cut by probably 99.9 percent .9 because most of them are the most ignorant, inbred sons of bitches that you can imagine. I'm only friends with one cop and he's from Rhode Island, so go figure. <laughs> he's not a native Georgian. He's the only one that I can tolerate. So anyways, um, so, he's in this jail with these inbred ass motherfuckers asking him if he likes hitting women. And so, he's just like, no, I don't hit women. That's not the situation. Of course, they weren't listening because they're like a bunch of retarded animals. You can't really, can't really uh, set their minds in the right direction. They've got their minds set on intimidating somebody because they're so sure of themselves that he's hitting women, boy! Finally, he just freaks out and he just like screams, it's because I'm gay! It's because I'm gay, isn't it? And um, they're just like, oh, they shut up. And they're just like, um, we're going to put him up in the hotel. And the hotel is like a special private area of the jail. That's like a secure area. So I guess they realized the error of their ways. And he got out the next day. And when he went to court, he got a good attorney that defended him 
very nicely. She was just like, how would you feel if somebody came up into your home that you pay rent for and abused you and then lied to the police? And then you were caught up in this type of situation. Not guilty, thank you. By the way, I got these awesome ass cowboy boots. I got these from JCPenney. It took those motherfuckers forever to bring these things to me. I'm wearing boot cut jeans now, but they look really good with these black jeans that I got, and I wore them on Sunday night. And, um, they were fucking cool as hell. They got like an eagle on them. And, um, I had to wait. They were supposed to be delivered, like, before Thanksgiving, and they just now came in last week. I was about to call JCPenney and cuss their asses out, because a bitch needs her goddamn boots. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, boy? You need some boots if you're going to live in the South, boy. You like it, women, boy? Huh? You like sucking on dick, boy? You like swallowing that cum, boy? Blah, blah, blah. Well, another thing about these dumbass cops is they don't understand that young gay men, such as myself, tend to know a lot of attorneys in Atlanta. There's a lot of gay attorneys in the Metro Atlanta area, and they're very powerful, too. So all we got to do is... If ever we get a DUI, we get some drug charges, or we get in trouble with the law, if you're under 25 in Atlanta, and you're cute, then all you gotta do is suck a little bit of dick, and some magic happens. If y'all are wondering what the hell this is, this is a cover for a cushion that's on a chair. And, um, the reason why it's hanging up here is because my mama's damn dog decided she was gonna pee on it. I'm not trying to be mean. I love that dog to death. She's a sweetheart. But, um, she had a little accident. And so it's hanging up here after it's been washed. Because she sprinkled a little bit on it and had a little, had a little, uh, lack of potty training session or something like that. It's magic. <laughs>